can't be too safe with these packages we get in the mail. I guess we're supposed to leave them for 24 hours. Um, if they come in a cardboard container, I think it might be even longer if it's plastic, so let's not take any chances. March's bag is a really nice teal green color with a little gold uh, round studs in it and a nice lime green uh, zipper pull. So it has a nice lime green uh, lining and a little plastic fabric. Let's see what's inside. Okay, the first product is... It is by Tarte. I like their products. And it is a Sequench Hydrating Primer. So this uh, can go as a substitute for foundation, can go under your foundation. Oh, I'm going to get rid of these. They're just driving me nutty. And... Um, According to the directions, and what I've heard before as well, you only need a pea-sized amount for your whole face. So, that's approximately that amount. So, not very much, which is good. It means your primer will last you a long time. I do use a Smashbox primer right now. Pretty happy with it because it's got some um, silicone in it, which I, I like because it tends to fill in some of the fine lines and pores. This does feel nice. It doesn't have the same powdery, velvety feel as my Smashbox. But I'll give it a try. And Quench by Tarte. Let's see what's next in the bag. Oh, it's called Polar Night Cream. So it's supposed to be ultra potent, but lightweight and an overnight cream. Use it all over your face and slather it on, they say. Um, and especially, um, don't forget your neck. So let's see, does it? Oh, the Quench um, primer does have a nice light smell. This one does as well. Looks like a little toothpaste too. Let's see. Okay, so it's kind of thick. Um, feels very rich, which um, my dry skin would really like. So sometimes I like to have something that I just save for the uh, neck and chest area. I have a product that I use um, pretty regularly for my, my face at nighttime. But we will definitely give that a try. Let's see what's next. All right, this is called Makeup Forever uh, Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. So matte is not necessarily really good for my skin because I'm fairly dry skinned. See, so there's, it's got a little tab here, but I'm wanting to open up. Oh, sometimes they make it so hard. Hmm. Well. Oh, dear. They should come with instructions as to how to open I'm probably going to destroy it, but I don't think I'll be using it anyway. So, what the heck? <laughs> I definitely know this is not the way you're supposed to open it. So, oh my goodness. Huh. Oh, there you go. And it comes with a little sponge, and apparently the um, instruction pa page says to um, use the sponge side for full coverage and the white sides for a sheer finish. So let's see. 
Uh, well, it's kind of nice. It does seem to kind of blur. A nice soft, um, definitely matte finish. I'll try it. I, I just don't, um, don't really think a matte's going to work for me, but it's fun to try new things, even though it may not be for you in the end. You can um, try it and pass it on to somebody else to um, try out as well. Well, there we go. First three products. Let's see what's next. All right, we have a little tube of Hanale Company Kukui Lip Balm in Tropical Citrus. Okay, let's have a smell. Oh, it smells so good. Like it could definitely chow down on that, you know? I do like Hanalee's products. I have another uh, lip balm from them um, and a um, gloss as well. I think I bought a lipstick one time. They actually have this line on board uh, the BC Fairies, which is uh, where I live there. So that will be excellent to try. I'll put that on there. And let's see what else. This one is Yensa uh, Skin on Skin BC Foundation in Light Neutral. And they call it BC uh, because it's uh, BB and a CC uh, cream in one. So it gives full coverage. Evens out your skin tone, reduces redness, and supposed to brighten up your skin overall. And let's, I, I do, actually, I, I don't think I will open this one because I do have another one. I, I ordered a tube this time around because I liked it. So um, it'll last longer if I don't open it. So I will just leave it unopened. But it is nice, provides a good, good uh, solid uh, coverage. Okay, this looks like a full size. That's always, always good if it's a nice product. So this one is called Honey Jarrett. It's a clean whip cleanser. And it has black tea in it uh, to soften and brighten. It's supposed to help prevent breakouts, um, soothe inflammation, and boost moisture levels. So you lather up, create a, a nice foam lather and clean your skin. So let's have a whip. Yeah, it's got a light fragrance. Um, not much point really in me trying it, but I'll just show you what it looks like. So it's a bit uh, creamy, very creamy. I like the pink tube. That'll be fun to try. You never know with these. i uh, made in Korea. Um, and we know that's uh, South Korea. And they they have a good reputation for their makeup products. So that's great. Pleased with those products, happy to give them a try. And the bag is nice as well. I'll probably knock all my branches over. Oh, look at that. So that's it for Ipsy in uh, March. And apparently the April bag is still on its way. Um, so again, take care everybody um, and get through these next few months however you can, staying safe. And um, we'll see you next month. Bye for now.